Now, there are two incidents I'd like to take with you uh, to think about. Uh, the first is Hydra. Now, unlike um, the Christian tradition, which begins the, its era, the Christian era begins with the birth of Jesus, as we, the year we think that he was born. Uh, but no, Muslims, of course, begin the Muslim era with the year of the Hijra. This is the beginning of Islam, when Islam begins to become an effective force in the world. And um, we know uh, that this was a crucial moment in the Prophet's life, but this is the moment when, like a hero, the Prophet is going to something new, to something absolutely unprecedented, some leaving the old familiar world behind. Um, it's quite difficult to explain to people, uh, especially in the West, what was so important, what was so uh, momentous about Hijra. You know, they say, so what? He had a change of address, you know, no big deal. But of course, it was a big deal. Um, it was an, to, to leave your tribe permanently and take up permanent residence with another tribe, people with whom you were not related by blood at all, was absolutely unheard of, absolutely shocking in 7th century Arabia. In 7th century Arabia, the tribe was the most sacred value. Tribal solidarity was the most sacred value. You looked out for your own people first, um, and other people were, were not important. Um, but so to, and because it was a sacred value, to leave your tribe in this way was almost amounted to blasphemy. And the word hijra uh, has within it a sense of great severance. Uh, the root meaning is uh, he completely ceased to have communication with somebody. Uh, he cut off all relations. It was a real severance, a cutting off, a painful cutting loose. Um, and, but this he did and founded a community that was unheard of in Arabia, one based on an ideology, on a shared faith, not on the blood tie, uh, extending sympathy out to the stranger. Um, and there in Medina, they would learn to live together. 